kitang-kita naman natin na iba't ibang uri ng mga maiikling pelikula ang ginawa nitong mga batang ito. Uh, Cinemalaya 16 celebrates the short film as a genre. No longer has it been relegated to the sidelines, but now it is the main feature of uh, this year's uh, most prestigious, if not the pioneering uh, film festival for independent films. Uh, Cinemalaya 16 celebrates the diversity as well as the inclusiveness in the themes and in the selection of these short films. Kita natin na ito mga batang ito ay galing sa iba't ibang sulok, sa iba't ibang regyon ng ating bayan at ito ang nakakapagbigay ng uh, taba ng puso dahil alam natin na buhay na buhay ang filmmaking sa kamay, sa isip at higit sa lahat, sa puso at uh, nag-aalab na dugo ito mga young filmmakers. Uh, we may have been enclosed in our houses for now four months but the imagination and the greatness of the promise of Filipino filmmaking still remains. And Cinemalaya 16, through streaming, has decided to reach out to a much wider audience and celebrate the Filipino in these most critical times. Maraming salamat, inaanyahan ko yung lahat panoorin ang mga short films na ito. At may sampu pa in, in exhibition na short films din na aming uh, na minarapat na ipakita rin sa inyo sa taong ito. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Salamat po, Direct Joey. Congratulations to the short film finalists. The way you painted it, Cinemalaya and Virtual Theater promises to be a novel and most interesting experience. Let us now hear from Cinemalaya President Ms. Loris Guillen. Ms. Loris? Hello and welcome to the press con for the first Cinemalaya Online Film Festival. The 10 shorts this year will be our main competition this coming July. And uh, what about uh, the, the, the full-length uh, full features? Now, the finished films from among the 10 feature film finalists for this year and the 10 for next year will comprise the main competition for Cinemalaya 2021. That is the plan. Now, like everything else on this planet, COVID-19 has impacted uh, on filmmaking in a way that has disrupted our original plans, timetable, and style of work. And Cinemalaya is no exception. It means the feature film finalists who are producing their films for this year's festival have put their projects on hold until they find a way to shoot their films safely within the budget during the time of the pandemic. The Cinemalaya finalists are by no means the only people who are in this boat. Practically all projects are on hold by force of circumstance. All productions worldwide are on hold, with a few exceptions like South Korea, which continues to produce film features and series that provide a steady content through video streaming to a worldwide audience whose contact with the world at this time is largely online. What does this mean for us? First, content is a prime commodity, most definitely. It means, therefore, that we should continue to make films now more than ever. Second, this present setback is a time to study what is the future content, specifically Philippine film content. Will the filmmakers need to contextualize their subject matter to the time of this imposed but necessary quarantine? Will this be the new trend in future films to come? Or less literally, does it mean for us to capture the mood and essence of this time so that our future films will be coming from a place of our present consciousness, whatever the subject matter may be. Finally, the question as a filmmaker should be, how have I grown in consciousness from this present crisis? What is my perception of the world around me, both physically and virtually? in my own mind. Sidney Balaya will be looking forward to these films this time next year. 
Meantime, let's watch the 10 shorts that make up the main competition this August. Thank you. So Sinimalaya will uh, go online from August 7 to 16, um, which is usually the traditional period when we have our festival. Uh, this time you will experience the various offerings of Sinimalaya through the online streaming platforms. Of course, our focus will be the main competition or the, of the short uh, feature films. Um, later on, our uh, uh, president, uh, Ms. Loris Guillen, will be sharing uh, what uh, the plans for our full length uh, feature. This year, as, as, as happened in one of our previous uh, editions, we'll be focusing on the, on, on the works of our filmmakers who have crafted their stories into 15 or uh, 20 minutes of, uh, of uh, digital video. And this year we're, we have 10 new titles which will be uh, focusing and be, will become, will compose the uh, main competition section of Cinemalaya. We will also be, sh will be screening at least 20 selected titles. These were titles that were called from the more than 200 titles that were submitted for consideration. So these are some of the uh, bundles of films that could be experienced during the Cinemalaya online fest festival. Again, there are 20 more titles of these like uh, short films which will be available for streaming online. Um, what used to be in the background at Cinemalaya has now, is now in the foreground in the form of our uh, CCP Gawad Alternativo para sa Pelicula at uh, para sa video at Pelicula. This, as you know, um, our Gawad Alternativo even predates Cinemalaya. Uh, it was the uh, main platform for our emerging filmmakers, and in fact, a lot of our uh, Cinemalaya filmmakers have moved on to making full lengths, uh, started as uh, emerging uh, filmmakers at our Gawad Alternativo. This year, uh, Gawad Alternativo's uh, theme is restlessness or legaling. And uh, Gawad Alternativo offers a lot of content and um, these uh, are divided into different sections or genres. And we're looking at at least uh, 20 or even more uh, titles for, for each genre. So our Gawad Alternativo this year will be featuring titles in both competition and exhibition, in animation film, experimental, documentary, short feature. There will be a section which is curated from uh, various, from the numerous submissions. And, and this is new this year and quite exciting, an emergent media exhibition which uh, focuses on gaming. Uh, these are games or video games that will be on exhibition online at Agawad Alternativo. Uh, curating this whole event is our, the head of our broadcast and film, uh, May Caralde, who is present also during this uh, press con and maybe later if you have more questions, you could address it to her. Um, let me show you now a trailer of the uh, what to expect and some images from our Gawad Alternativo. <laughs> 